Hey, man. You can hear me okay? Hey. Can I hear it? Yeah, I can hear you. Ah, uh, hello. Hi. Previous. Previous. So, you? what have you been doing today? Um, dude, I was playing around with my computer and I need to do a thing. Fuck, I hope I didn't get rid of it. Shit, I wanted to play with equalization. I want to make things sound better. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, so... Did you... Uh, did you do that? Mm, I'm starting... I need to get this thing. Ah, shit, what was it called? I forget what the shit was called, man. I, I had this... Uh, I completely forgot. It was called Marvel GEQ. Yeah. Marvel GEQ. What is this? Uh, it's a graphical graphical equalizer. It's a VST uh, plugin. Uh, okay. Yeah, so you can... The audio... Oh, sounds. that's interesting. Mm. Yeah, that way you can boost certain frequencies and you can decrease other ones. Uh huh. That's really interesting. Um, and how are you? Like, uh, what is your mood right now? Or are you funny? Or are you happy? Are you sad? Or what? So last night I was feeling kind of sheepish. Sheepish, like a sheep. The, sheep. the animal. Bah. Sheepish. Yeah. Sheepish. Um. Okay. Is it, is it like uh, sheep? Sh no. Sheep. Sheepish. Is that right? Bah. Sheep. Sheep, not sheep, but sheep. Okay. Sheep. This one. Yes, exactly. Sheepish. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I got this. And why is that? What happened? Well, I bought this really cool product. And? And I received it and I was really, really excited. I was super happy I got this. But it turns out it doesn't work with either one of my computers. What? I'll show you. I'll show you what it was. Um, let me just drop links to tweet. Boop. Yeah, sure. Easiest uh, way. Okay. Either, either. A relic from the future is sitting upon my desk. The Akireo Note Pro MSRP. Three hundred dollars. Yeah, three hundred fifty dollars oh. for this box. Only for this box. For a box. Yeah. It was Jesus. It has a I power think supply. that is expensive. And it's got Thunderbolt three, and it comes with a Thunderbolt three cable. This is like super oh, high shit. high tech shit. So like yesterday, because I was so excited that I was, gonna... I titled my broadcast. Uh, I started the day off titling my broadcast. I came from the future to stunt on bitches. And I put the money all over my gun and I put the gold up there too. <laughs> you know? And it was like, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you. You know? Because it's cutting edge shit. It's like really, really cutting edge shit. I was so hyped. And then I plugged everything up. And last night, I was, as I was reading, like I had this sinking feeling like, oh shit. It's not gonna work, huh? I tried both my machines with it. Fuck my life. <laughs> yeah. uh, I see your tweet about I came from the future to stunt on bishops. <laughs> That's funny. Because, you know, it's got the I have this exclamation mark free money thing in the title. And, you know, people will come and like they'll, they'll look at all the money and they'll go like, it's all fake. And I would just you know, in my head, and sometimes out loud, I'll go like, seriously? You didn't even try to it all be fake. Like, okay, you are stupid. Uh, <laughs> by the way, uh, what is the free money? What will happen if I text this? Like, you should try it. What is the comment? 
Okay. Or off credit. Okay, what is this? Oh shit! Who this? Yo. Okay. Uh, Yo, come in, man. I'm broadcasting right now. But come through. Come through, dude. I got you a little something. Mm -hmm. No, my touch it. It's right there. Oh, yeah. It's camouflaged. Paul's excited to see you, dude. Best bank oh, account, yeah. boss. Yeah. Bonus okay. were made. Right. Uh, you got this. Here, Paul, get out of the way. Get out of the way. The man's got, the man's got this thing here. Let me mix it. What is happening there? Um, well, I got a buddy over here. My buddy Ruben's over here. Let me, uh, let me move this thing. No, no, no. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll talk, but we'll, I want to move somewhere so that we can sit together and chat and shit. You, you just came into my house, right? <laughs> so, uh, you, yeah, you'll, that's you'll for be able sure. To see, you'll be able to meet Ruben, too. It's okay, it's, I'm broadcasting, and they'll, they'll be able to see your image and stuff. We just won't talk about anything illegal that we get ourselves up to, okay? <laughs> yeah. We'll just stay in the clear, you know, we'll be good boys. Under the radar? Yeah, flying always under the radar, man. Always under the radar. Look, I got the rifle sitting out here. <laughs> Ruben, uh, Ruben. I can't hear you. Uh, you're lagging so much. Uh, can you hear me now? Uh, I, I think I, I can hear you now, but. Uh, let me try to fix it. It's it's lagging. It's lagging. A little. Oh. Good, good, good. All right, here I'm gonna I'm gonna move us somewhere else so we can talk. And uh, Ruben, I'm gonna I got you something, dude. I got you something for the pain. So it'll help. I oh, now I pocket. see your buddy over there. Yeah. Uh, hey. Let me get some. Uh, let me make a lane for you, that, dude. By the way. We'll just sit over at the dining table like last time, okay? What? At the breakfast area. Oh, shit. You're lagging so much. I think that is my problem, I guess. But... No, um, it's maybe my problem. It may be my problem. Let me, let me go and make sure my friend's okay. I'll uh, set this down for a minute and then... You got yeah, it? sure. Making your way that. over here, all right, Ruben? How was the how was the trek? How was the trek? The, the trek. Uh, sorry, uh, the trek trek is you know like a, a journey. You wanna come join me? A the journey. Other side? It's far over here. Um. Uh, okay. Uh, do you remember, remember that dude. I told you that I broke up with my girlfriend? Yeah, and then you said that you got back to. Yeah, we made up. Yeah, that's good, man. Um, and everything went to went to a better way. So now we live together. Now, uh, now we like in, in love, I guess. And that's good, man. Today we brought a little cat in our Where's house. It? So uh -huh. and it's so little, like a lot. And I guess we are gonna look after. That's good. And hey, I was gonna just yeah. get you over here, yeah. a little closer. You don't wanna be that close. I'm go right here. You wanna be off to the side? No, oh, great. Let me go. All right, man. All right. Let me know if. Uh, let me get you some water. No, I'm good right now. Go ahead. You see you work broadcast or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'm, in fact, let me open up this blinds too so you can take a look out the window and shit. Yeah, Maybe. I don't want to see your old room, Brad. Yeah, it's a fucking mess out there right now. I wanted to get one of those, uh, one of those kids that owes me, that owed me money to come and mow my lawn, you know? <laughs> Sweat it out out there. Yeah. Those guys. Fucking ten, forty dollars, ten to forty dollars throwing away your reputation. What the fuck are they thinking? Some of these guys... No dollars and no cents. Dirty dad on the pot. Yeah. I pay him too and throw <laughs> But they gotta sweat it off, you know? Yeah. Hey, so you're you're adopting a cat, you said? A kitty? Yeah. That's you're right. that's you already found one that you like? Uh what? Did you find find one that you like? Yeah. Good, good, good. Cats are fun. You ever had a pet cat before? Um, yes, I had a cat, but 
he died like oh, when I was uh, you gotta pee. 11 years old. <laughs> oh, but, shit. What did he say? He said, you gotta feed it. You got a feeling? You got to feed the cat. Of course, I got to <laughs> feed the cat. Yeah, I will. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Uh, I, I have a really... I will fit him yeah. properly. I believe you. So, yeah. Um, what can I say? Um, I, had, I had a cat when I was 11 years old, but he died because he was too old. 15 years old, oh, so. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a pretty long time for a little animal, for the yeah, house cats. Yeah, it is. So, I think I have experience of like, uh, looking after the cat, so don't worry. Yeah. Shelter cat. Oh, okay, shelter. I'm gonna go that word because I don't know what is this. Shelter. Oh, okay. Yeah, ice cream. Shelter, yeah. They love ice cream. Yeah. That was a shelter guy. Don't worry. Domino. Is that, oh, is that Rick and Nelly? Chat? Is that Rick and Nelly in the chat? Uh, what? Is that Rick and Nelly in the chat? Yeah. That's Rick and Nelly. What's up, Rico? Yo, uh, Ruben, can I, can I show, can I... Can I show my friend Rick and Nelly? Can I show him you what what you're up to? Yeah, I'm not doing nothing, just walking. You don't you don't wanna like can, can I just like hey I'll have you introduce yourself? If you don't want to, it's okay, man. Rick and Nelly, you got a fit in a fitted ice cream. Is it good for a cat no. to eat an ice Pops cream? Pain. Nah, I don't yeah. think so. No. Alright. This is what I was Sub, talking about. Uh, yeah. With the pain. Sub. What's good? Hmm? Uh, we have a cat now. Yeah, I know. No, no, no. I'm, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. Um, sorry, I got all distracted. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Kasa, he came through. Oh, snap. Okay, he came through. Yeah, he came through. Let's pretend that I got this um, sentence. I didn't get it all, at all. Like he oh, came through snap. means um, came oh through. snap, oh snap is a you know expression of surprise. Oh snap, all it means is like oh shit, right? Ah, uh, it's like uh, thank you. I I'll leave you to figure that one out. You can figure that one out. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Uh, they like beef and broccoli too, like Chinese style beef and broccoli. Fucking Rick and Nelly, dude. Um, Don't listen to this guy about. <laughs> he doesn't know shit about animals. <laughs> <laughs> he knows a thing or two about women, though. I can give him that. About what? About women. women. He knows a thing or two about women. I can give him that much. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> That's true. He oh he's he's in the chat. Like there's um, uh, I could actually this this man I'm speaking with he's in he's in Russia, mm -hmm. he's a Russian man. Oh, you can, you can. We could we could see him. We could do a video call if he wanted to. Oh, you. I, 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 I will have it like in the one month I guess. Got gotcha. you. He's in Russia. Yeah, he's a Russian man. He's a Russian man. Uh, young man in Russia. He's um. I've spoken with him on the air before a couple of times. He he's one to have like a very clean uh, Western accented English. He doesn't want to yeah. have any hints of yeah. Russia in his oh. accent. So this conversational exchange is to help with that too. So. Yeah, I'm trying. A lot of people don't try. Oh yeah. You said it. Could you hear Ruben? Okay. Yeah, I can hear him. Um, hey, yeah, hey. I'm so sorry if I did that wrong. I guess. Uh, who is that? Your dad, your grandpa, your... <laughs> 
Uh, Ruben, you want to you introduce yourself at all? I mean, this stuff, like, one of my, my buddy Rico, Rico asks, who is this? My name is Robert Ruben Sanchez. I, uh, it takes me long to get around because I got... I had gangrene, they had to chop it off. So, I'm so sorry, but I'm so, I I'm, didn't I'm, understand what he's saying. <laughs> I'm suffering a little bit right now. But I'll, be, I'll get over it. No. You're a fighter, man. Sure, no, better be. Yeah. Well, we're trying to take So sorry. Time. Well, I mean, Casa actually made a clip some time back. It was one day I'd, uh, I'd hopped on over to visit with you. And that was recent. That was like after you got your toes removed. Oh, yeah. You know? And shit, I can't believe, like, it's just been a few months down the line. A lot can change. Oh, hell yeah. But circulation's better. You did it wrong, but it's fine. Read it like Cusa. Cusa. Yes? Cusa. Is that right? Cusa. 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 Okay. Yeah, I've always called him. I, I mean, he corrected me once. He was like, Cus, like capital C U S S dash A H. Cusa. Cusa. Yeah. Cusa. How? Cusa. Oh, Casa. <laughs> Mi Casa. Su Casa. <laughs> Casa. Yeah, uh, is that your neighbor? Yes, yeah. right? Yeah, we live in the same hood. We've known each other because hey. I used to. Can you hear me okay? Uh, no, I guess yes. No, like, fuck, dude. I, I think a couple seconds ago, god, god, what the hell? I have a wireless access point literally like right, right there. I don't know what the hell is going on. I fucking technology sometimes, dude. I can't stand it. <laughs> I love technology, but I can't. Looks uh, low. Oh, hell yeah. So, guys, uh, uh, where is your neighbor? What you up to, man? I'm looking at your garden. What you got growing out there? Oh, dude, my parents have. Uh, Look they, at squash. Yeah, they planted some like, uh, some type of melon is out there. Oh, There's watermelon. A melon. Yeah, I think it's cantaloupe. Oh, okay. I think so it's I, cantaloupe. I've seen. one, like yeah. around melon. Yeah. Right on, dude. And we got we got tomatoes growing like weeds over here. These little <laughs> cherry tomatoes. They're so <laughs> fucking tasty. I love them. And uh, I don't know. There's some other stuff. Some like flowering beans. Shit out there. And we have mint too. So if you want to make some mojitos sometime, I'll fucking do them up. <laughs> what do you say? By the way, have you seen a video called uh, This is America? This From yeah. Childish. Yeah. Childish. Yeah. How would you say that guy's that guy's name? Um okay. Uh his name is uh Childish I think it's yeah. pretty much right, yeah. Childish uh, Gambino. Uh, so you have watched this, yes. I, I watched it one night. I saw it like I think it was the night it the day it dropped or the day afterwards. I was looking at what was trending on YouTube and I watched it. So um, it was interesting. Like, it's something I would definitely watch over again because that that guy's a real good. Uh, I like him as an artist. You know, he uh, he started in a TV show, or he starred or like wrote this TV show called Atlanta. I think, but I I had a buddy recommend me his show, and you know I checked it out. I I knew that the guy made music, but I didn't realize what pieces he was responsible for, like what work he produced. I watched the entire season in like two days. Binge watched it. Fast. Yeah, well, I mean, well, shoot, you can get through anything fast if you don't have a day job. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Yeah. That is so true. Like, you are so lucky that you don't have a job, but you have money. That's... No, I have. Poor. I'm poor. If anybody ever asks but you about Yeti, you tell like them I'm poor. Privilege. I am privileged. Your parents are rich or something? 
Um, they're not rich. They're well off. They're well off. They're not rich, but they do well for themselves. At least uh, they are well off. So yes, you but... live in a, in a big house with the guns, with mm -hmm. your money, with yeah. a great like computer. You have a great workout yeah. things like yeah. for working out. Yeah, I mean, I've been building things up, but at the same time, you, you know, you got to produce, you got to produce revenue or income in order to support all of that, right? Like, it, it's not going to yeah. happen if I just, just through talking with, like, I like our conversations, you know, and I want to keep talking with you because uh, I feel it's a good opportunity for both of us, right? But, you, you know, just like conversations alone on the internet, that's probably not going to be enough for me to go and make a lot of money as a Yeti eater, right? So I have a lot of projects that I do work on. And I don't, even though my parents are well off, I don't like taking more from them. I, I you know, uh, right now it's like, if I do some work on their behalf, then they will pay me for my time and they'll, they'll I'll, I'll do it under market, you know? Oh, uh, I see, I see. Like recently the, uh, the AC unit for their upstairs went out. So th the other day, Sunday, I was over there and they wanted me to go take a look at it after lunch. You know, I said, yeah, you know, um, after, after we drop my sister off the airport, I'll go and take a look. But then we had a, we had an argument. It turned out kind of explosive. And then I left, I left. And then, you know, my mother came oh. by, my mother came by uh, yesterday morning. She, she came by to take care of the garden a bit. And she uh, took me down to the store with her where I hoped to go pick up some milk and bananas. And she was like, yeah, uh, we, we still could use your help fixing up the AC. And I told her, yeah, I'm, I'm still down to give it a look. You know, I'm willing to do that work, the HVAC stuff. It's usually really easy to fix these things. Like uh, over here, having no air conditioning is a mm -hmm. recipe for disaster, dude. Like you cannot live in Houston without AC. You will die. <laughs> you will die. Yeah. It doesn't matter like what yeah. color your skin is and where you're from. Like you, you will wish you were dead, you know. You want to be indoors here because we have stinging, we have mosquitoes that will suck all the life out of you. And the heat, the humidity, even in the shade, in the middle of the summertime, when you're sitting in the shade underneath a tree, there's no breeze. There's no wind. You just, it, when there's a wind too, it's just hot air coming off of the, the pavement because we live in a concrete jungle. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and that's just, that's life over here, dude. It's wild. Yeah. I don't know what to say. It's okay. It's like, okay. I understood. Yeah. Um... Literally, I was wondering the same thing, but he seemed to be having an okay time before. Uh, what were you what are you talking about? I was wondering the same thing. Time and effect. You know, chat has a mind of its own. Don't was, forget that chat always has a mind of its own. <laughs> hey, how do you how do you say your name like uh, a Russian would? Is it Leonid? Yes, it is. Leonid. Leonid. Okay. That's good. I'm glad I got it right. Yeah, you're so right. Yeah. You did a great job. Leonid. 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 If, to, if to be honest, it's actually like Lee. Lee. A need. Like Lee. A uh, need. Lee, a, a need. It's like Lee, a this. Need. Lee. A. Need. Nice. Leonid. Leonid. Le uh, Le uh, need. Yep. Yeah. Leonid. Right on, man. Yeah. Uh, I was meaning that Danny Glover has a lot of talent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He does. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah he's a real talented cat. Not many, not many like that in the game. Hello. Who that talking? That's a Russian dude. <laughs> yeah, I am from Russia. By the way, um, 
do you believe me like I'm from Russia or not because I want to know like do I sound like uh, <clears throat> like not a Russian dude as a regular Russian dude that's uh, I want to know so bad because that means a lot for me because that's my goal like to sound like uh, the eater eater because he's got like a perfect pronunciation a lot of diction I'll go I'll go queen boy what do you say Diction. 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 No, your accent. Uh, no, your accent. Is very obvious. You you don't sound like overly Russian. You have you know you yeah, all have some good. accent. It takes that's time. That's good. Canadian. No, your accent is very obvious. That you have an accent. I don't know if placing it as Russian is... Uh, I don't know if Domino would immediately place it as a Russian accent. That's something like, you could ask her. Um, I know that I have an accent, but... Uh, like, I don't sound like a regular, just a Russian dude. Like, I, hey, man, I am... From Russia, how are you doing? So, what are you gonna do today? I mean, I broke at a, a cat, so I'm gonna look after him. Yes, and I've I have been eating uh, rice with meat today, and I'll go I'll I'll go no queen boy. Yes, you are from Canada. That's a really good country because I, <laughs> I know an actor from uh, uh, who is from Canada. His name is Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, I I like him a lot. So this nope. is not like I have a a crush on him. Uh, I'm I'm not a gay. So I'm I'm, I'm just uh, saying that he's a good actor. He's uh, he's good as uh, the Deadpool, so uh, don't get me wrong. Yes, so uh, more like a rough, a rough Spanish, but talking a bit more, I would know. I, w I would not know you were uh, Russian. At, uh, you were Russian till you speak fast. Yes, yes, yes. You are so red. Bro. I totally Bro. agree with you. Bro. So damn, dude. How do you roll your eyes? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. That's an Irishman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man. Hey, I got one more thing I want to grab. Shit, I'm like, I'm left and right here. Yeah, do that. Yeah. Grab like all the things. Yeah. 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 So he can turn it on and off. <laughs> uh, do you mean my accent or, or what? So he can turn it on. Enough. Spaghetti? Yeah. Spaghetti? Fuck yeah. I've also never I love spaghetti. I, spaghetti and I've also never heard nice, man. a Russian roll there. Nice. They are, are ass in that way. Like Russia or something. Yeah. Diet Coke if you want My husband Diet Coke. can turn on Diet and Coke. off. Yeah. All I got is diet. Okay. Right on, man. I'll get you I'll get you that. Yes, it is a private call. This is the only single way I don't buy talking to you. You know? score. Oh, you can you join if you oh. want to. There you are, sir. Thank you. Know? you. Of course, it's my pleasure. I'm glad that you made the trek over here. What are you saying? I came too black and I said, oh, hell, it's three black. <laughs> I'm going back. <laughs> yeah, but you already passed the halfway point. <sighs> Leonid, Leonid. Yeah. Le Leonid. It's Leonid. Yeah, it is. You don't trust these? 
You don't trust these? I mean, I thought they had phones with only a private call, but since that <clears throat> this was not headphones, I was curious. Well, why is it, wrote. Ruben, why is it that you don't trust these? How come you don't fuck yeah, with them? Yeah, a, no, no. a lot of people have accent. Have you tried them, though? Uh, is that weird? No. This is this has got jobs. nicotine in it, and it's f like fruity flavors. You know, it's nothing burning. Oh, it's that kind of. Uh, it's uh, it's no it's, caffeine. No, not caffeine. No, it's it's just like nicotine and flavoring. It's nicotine and flavoring. It's like the kind of uh, if you want to quit smoking, you do you smoke those. Like I don't smoke cigarettes because I smoke. I use this. This is my like this, replacement. When you want to cut down, you should do that. No, no, this is like a substitute for cigarettes. Yeah, I know, but you know they've been selling a whole lot of that shit. Yeah, they've been selling a lot of the shit. The Chinese were the ones that invented this wow, shit. Okay, is that it? Oh, I thought you were smoking weed. No, dude, that's that's what. <laughs> that's this box. <laughs> and and look, let me show you like what a typical thing looks like. That one time was something quite ex extreme. Okay. And like, I will never expect to have that again, but that's a typical, yeah, I know it's like, people would be like, what? There's nothing there, but that's, uh, that's typical for me. Um, that's what, that's all I do. You know, like you see this? Almost that liquid. Yeah. You know, like you see this stuff, right? This dust. Like if anybody ever came and was like, yeah, I heard you have stuff that I would just flush this. There's nothing. It's nothing to me. It's literally dust. You know, like that's, um, there's, there's a like community. I started looking into this group of people that, uh, Leonid, there, there's some people who quit, quit smoking pot, you know, like long time, heavy, heavy cannabis consumers that just stopped doing it. And there's like a community of these guys built up. And I was, I was just like, at one point I was looking around searching for information on why people stop smoking cannabis why they stop using it regularly, right? And I was just looking and, um, you know, many people report like, hey, I stopped and now I dream again. <laughs> I have dreams, like remember my dreams, you know, or this okay. thing is changing my life, this thing, this <clears throat> thing. But yeah, this this is nicotine, dude. You're welcome to give it a try. This, I yeah, think, try. yeah, you just hold the button while you're inhaling and it will heat the thing up. Let go of hold the, what? this button. Hold and the button? You, yeah. If, if it's okay, I'm going to broadcast you attempting to do your first, the first time trying this thing. Okay? Are you going to see me? Oh, yeah. It's okay, broadcast, man. Because these, these people are all watching on, like, at home. Okay. That button, yeah. And you're just going to hold it while you're breathing in. And as soon as you stop breathing in, let go of the button. I'd have to ask. I forget you're in... What do you think? They, they sell this juice in like a million different flavors. There are a million different people making this juice. In the dialect. Okay, what is... Uh, you can blow smoke rings and shit with it. I really like this stuff, man. <laughs> yeah, it's good, right? Oh, shit. It's, it's, got, it's a lot less harmful on your lungs compared to cigarettes, which have all that... Like when you burn stuff, you end up with a whole bunch of other chemical byproducts. I mean, you got the paper, you know? Sorry, you know, uh, we're balancing between two conversations here. It's tricky. <laughs> I'm only yeah, one man. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I can't tell that. Okay. <clears throat> is that what that is? Give me a sec. <clears throat> yeah, you can I'm take a look. I'm going to try my best. Is that, is that what you put in there? Yeah, I just dripped this on there. <clears throat> and like, Hi, I'm from America. Quite late. No, no, that quite was late, bad. That was really bad. Okay. Let me try again. Hi, I'm from America. Hi. Was that good? Hi, I'm from Texas. Uh, we're from Texas. <laughs> yeah, but you, your accent's not really like a Texan accent. I wouldn't call it that. You don't have the southern drawl to it. Hi, I'm from America. Hi, I'm from America. Was that good? Or, uh, or you, you can tell that I'm not a, an American person. I, I don't know. I think so, that if you if you keep on repeating this phrase, hi, I'm from America, over and over again, and just like listen to yourself and shape it each time. Here's here's one thing you can do. You set up your headphones uh, to listen to your microphone, right? And just like record uh, while actively monitoring yourself, and you'll you'll start to be able to fuck around with it really fast. You can do impersonations yeah, yeah, yeah. and shit. I already did that. Oh, you did. Like, huh? 
I've been doing that like a lot of times. So, no, I can tell Ruben is from Texas for it. Hell, the country. It, it, it was okay. Thank you. This man Custom says you. that you sound like either like you can he can tell you from Texas or that you're hella country. <laughs> uh, Just a couple of subtle Thank boys. you for that. <laughs> that. Oh God, I wish I wish okay I wish I didn't have an accent. But maybe in like two years, maybe one and a half. Healthcare. Get rid of it. Okay, what? Healthcare. What about it? So they can come and help me around the house. Oh, they're gonna get you some care, like a caregiver. Right on, man. So I'm gonna give you a helping hand for a bit while we get back up. Right. That's good. You've been doing the exercise too. Do I get my prostate? Yeah. You've been doing the exercise. Так, надо мне, короче, купить телефон. А, oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I just like started talking in Russian, but sorry, I forgot. What is what is wrong with having an accent? Yeah, uh, my parents keep the hangers from all the plants that they buy. They're what is wrong man. with having an accent? Uh, oh, my my buddy in prison is uh, getting out soon. I think. I would I wouldn't say that there is something wrong with with having an accent, but like. Uh, I want to sound like an, an American person, like, or maybe uh, like an uh, like a Canadian person, because I'm tired of like uh, of being Russian with a Russian accent. So, because I watch a lot of movies in English, a lot, a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of TV series. And I wanna, I wanna sound like them. That is my goal. I, I'm not saying that there is something wrong with this. Like, you know, uh, that's pretty good to have a goal to achieve to reach it. Like, uh, that keeps me like um, in shape. You know, like yes. that that gives me uh, a motivation. To do something to yes. like ev evolve, you know. Hallelujah. Uh, I like accent. Yeah, I mean, dude. accent my own. Yeah, having goals is so fucking important. What? Having goals is so important. Yeah. Like, if you don't have goals, what are you doing? Yeah. So important. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that if you like, if you hear me in two years, you will be shocked. Yeah, that is my goal to get you shocked. Like, <laughs> shit, are you Leonidas like? Right. Really? No, you're not. <laughs> Don't lie to me. That that can't be. <laughs> um, I like accent. It's interesting to interact. You know that other have and there's are have occupied and come from different corners of globe. In New York. I'm a fan of direction. But sometimes you just want to blend in, you know? We were just talking about this flying under the radar. Being that Under chameleon. the radar? Yeah. Radar. Radar, yeah. Radar. You know what radar, radar is, dude. Beep. Oh, that's sonar. Radar. 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 Like, Radar. <laughs> Radar. You got Radar. that. It just flips up. It flips up. It goes clockwise. It goes clockwise, man. The little lock. There you go. You headed out? Alright, man. Be safe. What? I was, I was hollering at Ruben. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, you do have to, you do have to work at it, changing that 
a part of yourself, but it's totally possible to do it in the span of a year or two. Yeah, you, you know, like I started bit, to uh... learn English six months ago. Like, Here, let me get the door. Like, so let me hard. Hold it, hold it open. No, just let that yeah. check, this check, check this out. Check this out. Check this out. down. Yeah, check this out. No, you don't have to I think it's a common thing oh, to not right. like your own accent, though. Yeah. Right. You're right, Holly. Oh, Holly. Holly Nuna. Holly Nuna. Yeah, I don't like my ethnic accent, but people tend uh, to not think I'm not from Texas. You got this, man. Like, I know that to have an accent, Shit, it's not like. It's it's not weird in America, like because uh, they are a lot of people who, who have a different accents. Yes, I know that, but I want to be like a native speaker. I don't know why. I don't know what for. I just want to. I don't know. I'm so in it, like. I wanted it so bad. You got this, man. It's it's easy. You're already doing all the right things. You're taking the right steps. Thank you. Thank you. That means a lot. That means a lot. I meant. Yeah, it's a process, but you can do it. It's always a process. Thank you for believing in me. That's really good. Dude, I'd be a complete dick if I was like, nah, you can't do that. Come on. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you haven't been a dick to me, right. why would I be a dick to right. you, you know? There's no reason for that. I don't start shit. Oh, shit. This guy doesn't have a leg? Yeah, he's missing, he's, uh, he's missing his leg down to, like, from his calf down. About mid-calf down. So everything from, like, mid-calf mid -calf over here. From his calf muscle, like from here down, he's missing his right leg. And it's only been recent, like in the past, dude, I saw him at Thanksgiving. I spent Thanksgiving with his folks. And uh, like, I, I, okay, so I spent like an hour or so on Thanksgiving with him and his extended family. And he was on his two legs, but he had circulation problems. And he, he talked about it. He said he had gangrene, right? They had to get rid of oh. they had to get rid of his toes first. So like the first time that he showed up on my broadcast, he'd um, he'd just gotten his toes removed. About half of his foot was gone, and now it's oh. his leg from mid calf down. And he's just gotten back home recently, and he, he was looking out at the yard and he wanted to go check it out the garden. So, um, like, you know, I, I didn't rush to go and help him move his stuff i just showed him how to lock open the the patio door so he could keep one hand free to just he could focus on manipulating his scooter he's got this like uh, a little scooter that you can ride on you can sit on it or you can just keep your your leg on it and it helps him gain mobility i don't want to take that away from him yeah uh, he's good people though I, we used to sit and just chat and shoot the shit you know Talk about life, yeah. the universe, and everything. A big sports fan. He, he asked me earlier today if I saw the Rockets game. And I was like, nah. You know, I get the updates from you on that. I don't keep up with the sports. The organized yeah. athletics. That's good. Yeah. That's good, dude. Uh, I see. Oh, it's so easily it's so easy to make your voice low pitched. Just uh always talk to everybody like you're laying in bed next to them. <laughs> or smoke a lot of cigarettes, that helps too. <laughs> oh wait. Uh I'm getting used to my own voice. I think I I sound uh, I sound like wait a minute. Uh is it okay? Is it is like a normal a normal thing when a native speaker make mistakes like like 
I sound like. I mean, is it okay, or is it like, uh, oh shit? Why are you making mistakes? Like, are you a native speaker? Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not judging you. Maybe like you you were typing fast and something. I just I just want to know like because in Russia, if you like to make uh, mistakes, uh, everyone like will uh, will think that oh you have an education or something. Well, why do you why do you make mistakes or oh. is it that said? I think it's just a different system, man. People, I, I believe that in America, people by and large uh are pretty comfortable with the idea of failure they know that you have to we have sayings like you've got to break a few eggs you got to break eggs to make an omelet right yeah it's it's important we recognize that failure is part of growth so long as you frame it appropriately it's stepping stones towards a better end У нас такой флакон стоит 1500, да? Я просто вы вообще не курю. Uh, give me a sec. I'm just, uh, I'm just talking to my viewer. Uh, как у него даже дороже? Viewer, are you broadcasting too? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Why didn't you say so? Uh, because I was playing like CS:GO and. I forgot to stop my broadcast. So. <laughs> oh, gotcha. All good, man. Yeah. That's all good. That's... Sorry. Um, no, I mean, now I know that you actually broadcast on Twitch too. You're not just uh, a Twitch user, but you're also a broadcaster. Like... Um, I'm not a broadcaster, like, uh, I'm just, like, do it for fun, like, I didn't even, like, uh, do my interface properly, like, I didn't do anything, I'm just, I'm just, like, broadcast and have fun. Of course. Uh, that's it, like, I wouldn't say that I'm a really, uh, full-time streamer or something oh, like, i know you're not a full-time streamer you've got play, a good job yeah i can start my broadcast and that's it here i plug your broadcast now i know that you also what? broadcast to the platform what yeah i mean we have to share are you serious it's it's we only have so many people here. It's small, but I will keep looking to do this type of thing. Let me get the door for Ruben again. Here, I'm gonna lock it. I'm gonna lock it so that you can focus on just getting up. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you a lot. Yeah, sir. Yeah, the same viewers. Oh, it's fun out there. Huh? Yeah. I went from. Are you from Russia? How's your left leg muscle? Not good. <laughs> not good. Not strong enough yet. Not yet. Not yet. Because you've been in that hospital bed for ages, huh? About November. That's when I first went in. Yeah. Fuck. It's gonna take a while, but you got this, man. It's pretty hot out there. Yeah. There you go. Some space. Yeah. Paul just came in. And it's squash. It's squash. It's growing out there, but they need water. They need water. What's your, what's the goal when you broadcast? I broadcast when I play actually, and I forgot to s s stop my broadcast. Uh, whoa, what, uh, what is this? Oh no, no. I'm so new. No, so, so Ivan was saying, Yeti, are you saying viewers are scrub? Come on, bruh. And he threw up a kappa. Um, views. You know, what I meant is like, uh, it's nothing, you know, this like the shout out is nothing. It's just, it's just like a little token, right? Like, I think that's important for broadcasters to support other broadcasters efforts and leave it to viewers to decide if they want to support this broadcaster or not. 
But, you know, if you tell me, like, hey, I also broadcast here and I don't, don't acknowledge that, that's kind of a dick move on my side. <laughs> of course, there you are, man. There you go, thank you. Yeah, it just wouldn't be, a, it wouldn't be a good thing for me to be like, oh, you broadcast? Keep that shit out of here, you know? Yeah. No, like, if you broadcast, that's yeah. awesome. And you play Counter-Strike Go on stream, a lot of people like CSGO. I used to play a bit, too. I played CS 1.5 back in the day, 1.6. Um, got into Source and picked up Go for a while when I stopped playing Xbox Live. Come on, we are in this together. Thank you, Gasa, Gasai, Gasa. I'm sorry, I forgot. Thank you for following. That's really, really sweet of you. Like, yeah. Thank you. Oh, shit. The, the way I see it, when we have these conversations, you know, you're giving me some value too, right? Uh, yeah. You recognize this. Like, I give you some value just as just as a guy who's willing to talk with you in, in English, have conversations with you. But you also give me value just by presenting, like, you offer a point of view from a completely different part of the world. What? Are you serious? Of course. I mean, you recognize that your set of experiences is different from most, like from people like, you know, like just like my set of experiences makes me a uh, unique in a way. Thank you. Ruben, you're laughing like, yeah, you're not shit. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know, you know how many people fit all of these same, like these same circles I do? Like you drill it down, uh, it's very limited, just like, you gotta think about it. I know. Yeah. The, the intersection of so many different circles, it's tough. You don't find them. Chameleon, but one of a kind in a full house. Gita. Gita now. Yeah, just that bunny. It happens. It happens. That's why I only hit the button like after my lips are on it. I'm ready to start drawing in air. Gotta time it right. Yeah, did you get the uh, fuel pump? The fuel pump is still on the way, man. Uh, and that quick jack. Did you did you get it off? Uh, I haven't pulled it yet because it's you know once I pull it then, like okay the back seats are out, the back seat that cover is off, and I I've played around with loosening one of the, the covers oh, for the fuel pump. I forgot. I know how to get it out. So sorry. It's pretty easy to pull it. What's up? Uh, nothing. Just, I started to play Mortal Kombat 2 and forgot to, like, um, to show it. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah, you should, dude, if you're going to broadcast, just show everything, man. That's what I would do. Yeah. You know how I do it. Like, I'm just sitting over here sometimes, like, fucking nodding off. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, okay, I should probably turn it off now. You know, that's the only time yeah. I turn this shit off. Otherwise, we keep it going. Because you never know what you what trouble you'll get into. And the last time Kasa was here and the neighbor's kid came knocking, he's like, you good? This kid shows up at my door and he, he's like, Hey man, I saw your car in your driveway. Oh, I just wanted to check in on you. You good? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. Like, he's like, you good? Yeah. You good? It's just like, what the fuck is wrong with him right now? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Uh, you so you're not gonna open the door? You're not gonna let me in? Like, you want something? Can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, mind you, this was you. You know all about that shit, that incident. Mm -hmm. I haven't told. The, the humble folks in my broadcast about it yet. Eventually, when the time is right, I'm going to drop that story on them. Let them decide if they want to stick around after that. But I think by that time, they'll be fine. You know, like I'm, I'm just letting water go under the bridge. This fucking kid, 40 bucks. Burning reputation with me over 40 bucks. All that shit goes down, and then he's just like, you good, you good, you going to let me in? Like, fuck, you, what do you mean am I going to let you in? What do you have for me? <laughs> 
You can stay out there. Or open the garage and get the lawnmower out for you. Mow the lawn, then we'll talk. You got a lawnmower and you will cut your yard. Yeah, you know, sometimes I get I get busy. I get like I, I I'm not usually just sitting around conversing. Even when I'm conversing, I'm usually doing something else simultaneously. You know, just multitasking a bit. And then we'll I, I've been I've been trying to break things faster than the next guy. Because I have that luxury of time, but then again I don't. You know, I have a real definite end date where if I don't have success, then I'm like there's nothing. I just gotta go find the job. You know, <laughs> go find a fucking desk job. And you know, I keep building up my skill set such that yes. by the time that shit rolls I'm gonna have a higher hourly rate than I did at the start of the year. That's true. Well, just gotta keep investing in that set. Thank you for showing off that green sword. <laughs> I can let him know what's up. He's off. Hmm? He's a uh, no. Uh, he's just stepping away for a moment, Casa. Le Leonid Leonid Leonid. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, you're also multitasking pretty hard, huh? Yeah. What are you up to? <laughs> oh. Sometimes I just observe things, man. Know, I'm just talking out loud. <laughs> okay, I guess that's uh, enough for Mortal Kombat 2 for today. I All guess. Right. Hey, you call it. That's enough. What? You call it. Finish him. That's the one, right? Mortal Kombat is the finish Finish him. They have all those crazy finishers. Yeah. I just uh, turned into the dragon. And, and I ate half of his body. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Tasty snack. <laughs> yes, it is this snack. <laughs> I'm looking for... Against looking. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I'm gonna bitch you up. You know, in the Discord server. Uh, uh, what? Leonid, in the Discord server, we have some really interesting people. Like. Yeah, I've seen him. Oh, the, the, there are a lot of them. Uh, there are a lot of people, but the, most of them are quiet. Like that are either writing or like making videos, you know, and some other broadcasters too. But there's a real, real good group of people in there. There's one guy, the kung yeah. fu robber. You should check uh, out some of his stuff. I remember man. that there is a Russian dude. In there. there is, yeah, Bloodhood. He's actually in Kazakh, Kazakhstan. Ah, yeah, yeah. he's Asian. <laughs> yeah, he's Kazakh, yeah. man. Yeah, he is. He's Asian. also Asian. Yeah, he's also Asian. I am. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He came by like uh, at the, yeah. near the start of the year, and I, I appointed him mod. But lately, he's been he's been busy. I think there's like a baby in the house or something. Oh shit! Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, there is because Kazakhs uh, like um, love a lot of children. Like, um, but that's a really common thing when. Um, a regular, a regular Kazakh has uh, so kids when he's like only twenty or something like that. Damn. So they like children like yeah. a lot. So 
I'm not surprised that he had a child already. I don't think it's his kid. I don't think it's his kid. His man. kid? I don't think it's his kid. It, what? I Is it a kid? I don't think it's his kid. Ah, you don't think it's, it's his kid? Correct. Well, okay. So, I'm going to find her. Find him. Yes. Where is he? Blood. That was Blood Hood. Okay. Yeah, that's Blood Hood. He's sometimes tough to get a hold of. Just like a lot of a lot of people on Discord, I think, because it's just gamers are squirrely, dude. Gamers are core KG people. <laughs> yeah. By and large. Oh, there is a girl. There's a oh, girl. There are multiple the women. The vape to vex links. We have multiple young ladies inside of the Discord server. Maybe that's more motivation for young men to join. <laughs> Women on the internet? What? <laughs> Hot singles want to fuck tonight. Join this webpage. Oh shit, I have a viewer. And his name is uh, Slaku. Who is that? Is that one of yours? I don't believe so. Who is that? Oh, you are eating. Oh shit. Um, yeah, I wish you like. Uh, uh, I forgot. I lost my train of thought. Um, I wish you a good meal. Yeah. I, Bro, I this doesn't recall count. it. I wish you could meal. Yeah. This is not a meal, this is a snack. Is it like uh, an expression? Like uh, when a s a someone is eating, and uh, you could say like, I wish you could meal. Like, it doesn't matter if if it's a snack or chips or something like that. Mm, I don't know. I don't think it's very common for people to say that to each other here. You know, oh, like, okay, so if you go really? to a restaurant, for example, and you're sitting down, the, the server, after they bring out your meal to you, or the busboys bring out your meal to you, the server may come back after a while and ask the question like, hey guys, is everything tasting okay? Or is, uh, are you enjoying your meal? You know, and that's it. It's just like, how are you enjoying it? Um, do you need anything? That's it. Oh, you know? but the, thank you. It's, it's, so you're saying that I can say like, Enjoy your meal, and that's will be okay. Um, it, you could say it. It's just like it's like Domino indicated. We we really never do say like enjoy your meal. We just I guess I don't know. It's weird. Like Americans are a weird bunch. We don't really wish each other to have oh. to enjoy the meal. But like, you know, I I worked with a guy, and he used to always say to people as like a, a way of saying bye. He would always say like eat good food, you know, just to be personable. Uh, the Chinese laughing my ass off. We we never say that. Mm. Oh, thank you for teaching me. I, like in Russia, we do. So I thought you do as well, but yeah, you don't. Dude, I okay. think it's a communism thing because, like, okay, at least my my parents they taught me that in China people would always ask each other too, like, have you eaten yet? And it was just a general courtesy, you know. It was just this thing that people, when they meet each other and they, they see each other on the street or something, they're just asked, like, have you, have you eaten yet? You bump into a friend, have you eaten yet? And okay, like, I'll thank do that you. sometimes. Have you eaten yet? Yeah. yeah. I'll do that sometimes just as like, it's like, um, I don't know. I don't even know how you would describe it. You're just inquiring about somebody else's well-being, right? Yeah. I guess, I guess like there's this one, oh my God. Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, hey, if you haven't had some food, let's go we'll get some. Because the, the, the idea of like, if you operate inside of this abundance mentality, more shit's gonna come your way. Good shit. Right? Oh, Dimas, yeah, I totally understand. I'm the same as this. Analogic. I'm so sorry, I was talking to my viewer, he's also Russian, so 
Uh, yeah. I mean, just enjoy your meal. I guess it's common. Okay, fine. It's common enough. I just don't really often <laughs> get this unless it's like a service person, you know? It's, it's a really gracious thing to say, but it's just very uncommon. Like the only times that we really get it is... Uh, is yeah. everything okay? Yeah, there's everything okay. You need something? <laughs> like if you need something, just holler, you know? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you want to order, order some more? Uh, there you go. You want to order some more, pig? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Ruben, I want to do a... I want to take a trip down to Central Texas and hit up all the barbecue joints. They, they had a barbecue somewhere around here on the 19th. Oh, yeah? Good. I want to I wanna hit up the ones that they that make the, uh, like, the national travel guides and well, shit. This is going to be a, a cook-off. Texas cook-off. I don't know where it's going to be, though. Where? On 19th? On the 19th. No shit. Oh, Custa, we got to go hit that up. Ruben, you want to go? Shit, I don't know. Oh, you don't have to eat too much. You just got to... Uh, if they're even serving the food, shit. Maybe it's just going to be, like, for smells, free smells, and that's well, it. Well, was going to serve. You got to go buy that shit. Of course you got to buy it. They're going to have beer... Barbecue yeah. and beer. Uh, barbecue and beer? Fuck yeah. I'm yeah, down. Yeah. That's Texas. It'll mm -hmm. work. Well. On the 19th. On the 19th. By the way. Yeah. By the way, I have a question for you. What's up? Um, so, um, I heard that you can speak Chinese. Yeah. Fluently. Um, like, you know, well enough. Yeah. I can get by. Is that right? I can get by, yeah. So you have a perfect, like, I don't know, you have a perfect pronunciation in English and in Chinese. How is that even possible? Uh, well, I mean, it's the same type of thing you're going for, right? Just like bilingual. You want to have, like, okay, you as a man living in Russia, if your Russian was not really, really good, it would be like, did you finish school, right? Yeah, yeah. Or like, do you, yeah, right. do you live under a rock? So of course your <laughs> Russian's gonna be good, man. Your Russian must be good. Just like my English must be good because it's my default language that I operate in. But my Chinese is not like, uh, growing up, my mother would just tell me, focus on your English. You know, don't worry about Chinese. Oh, Everybody in China is trying to learn English anyways. Just focus on your English. The main language here in the United States. Everybody's yep. got to learn English. Yep. Because, because but, I mean, English uh, around the world is being used as the language of exchange. But it's good to know a foreign language. Fuck yeah, man. Like, uh, if you know Japanese, Chinese, yeah. man, all the money's coming from over there. Oh, uh, it's and between if, there and the Middle East. And if, and if you can speak Chinese, you can get out of that. You can make money like this. Yep, exactly. Translating. Uh, translation services are very useful, but these yeah. days, dude, Google Translate. Like, you can pull up Google Translate, download this offline translation pack, and it will... Oh, it will, you speak in English and it'll come back in... You, you can do these things now. Like, we have this. It's amazing. It's amazing. And translation, like, machine translation mm -hmm. has gotten increasingly good through the years. In, like, the past 10 years, massive headway. Yeah, see, that's growing up the economy. Mm, nah, dude, everybody's learning English because it's, like, it's the language. Is, like, just think of the people that study Chinese or Japanese, make a living, and then they come over that shit. You, you can't do nothing. Right? No, you can't. You can work in a Chinese restaurant, though. <laughs> I'm not making the pot. Nah, you're not making shit. You're getting fed. You're getting. You're eating table scraps, and you know, like Chinese food in the states, it hardly sells for shit. Unless you go to a place where there's a thriving Chinese population, and they know where the like they know where the good food's at. Like, they can't charge high dollar for Chinese food in the States. No, what was uh, that? Sion, uh, that's me. And uh, the person next to him uh, is, uh, it's like a dude. <laughs> Just a dude. Like, a body of eaters. A neighbor, man. He's a neighbor. Ah, uh, neighbor, yeah. Yo. Sorry, I forgot. Same hood. So, 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 so. Yeah. I would like to improve my French. Yeah, hello, you're right. I would like to improve my you French-speaking ability. 
because that would be good. Just like multilingualism is pretty badass. Bilingual is cool, but if you can go like three, four languages, you know, become a real poly, it's called polyglot. P-O-L-Y-G-L-O-T. Polyglot. Polyglot. That's cool. Polyglot, yeah. Yeah. The guy who knows like a lot of languages. Yeah. Like, I, I, you know. Knows. Sometimes, uh, like earlier this morning, there was a there was a Tunisian man who came in. I think it's a Tunisian man. He came into the broadcast, and you know, I'm able to at least say hello and how are you to him in Arabic, and people are people are pretty favorably impressed by that type of thing. Just like if you can at least, um, just common courtesies, right? If you have that, then they're like, oh, that's cool, that's cool. You're learning good shit. Instead of if I was like. Uh, most of the young guys on the internet, all they know is fucking suka bliat. <laughs> suka bliat. Yeah. Suka, bliat. Yeah. suka, suka. It's like, okay, that's cool that you know that, but uh, like, do you know anything else? <laughs> do you know <laughs> uh, do, you, do you know anything? Like, nope, I don't, man. All I know is suka. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Like, it's good to know when you're being cussed out, but that's like, it doesn't, shouldn't, really be your first your focus right i just want to curse people out in their language <laughs> yeah i want to learn another language and not my cuss word yeah <laughs> like all right great use of your time dude <laughs> what type of world do you live in um Um, okay, guys. Right. I think that's uh, a time for me to sleep, guys. I have a work tomorrow, so I have to sleep now. Of course. Uh, yeah, that was so nice to talking to you. Like, uh, that's so good for me, and to the chat as well. Like, there are a lot of good people in there. Um, so. That was that was nice to meet you all, and uh, I gotta go. Sorry, and uh, Sorry, good night. <laughs> Sleep tight, yeah, everyone. Good bye night. bye. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Take care, man. Good chatting with you. Yeah. Thanks, by the way. Of course. For talking to me. My pleasure, always. Yeah, bye, bye. Adios. Adios. Adios, muchachos. Oh, I don't have it here yet. It's coming. It's coming. I got a quick jack. Scissor lift. Handles up to 7,000 pounds. So when you get your truck, we can fix it up a bit too. There you are, sir. Thank you. Yeah. See how long it takes me to get to the house. Make sure you get some water when you get back, man. <laughs> Stay hydrated. Later. Yeah, take care, man. Paul does not mind at all. He's like, yeah, life is good. <laughs>